Hi guys, this is your coach, Sherry, or I should say Beachbody coach, sorry, still getting used to that. Um, I just thought I'd give you a little tip tonight on vegans how it's after supper, and this used to be one of my most crucial times in the day that I would snack. Um, late night snacking is probably one of my most um, hardest habits I had to break, and sometimes I honestly, to be truthful here, I still do the odd time. I don't do it as often. Um, I try to uh, do more guidelines of my snacking, but um, I thought I would give you guys some tips on what I do for um, curbing that late night snacking. A thing that I found out, um, I was doing some research to see what I can do um, to help stop the cravings for late night snacking and the biggest one I found was which is the most surprising in a way which shouldn't be but it is is that um, usually after I think they said 11 between 10 and 11 at night your body um, starts to get into that rest zone where you're sleeping and even though you're sleeping and your mind is sleeping your body is starting to rest and it tries to get rid of any of the antioxidants and everything that's in your body that you have consumed throughout the day. So when you think of it that way, um, it's kind of like, so if you're eating until 11 o'clock at night and you're getting up at say, I don't know, between 5 and 7, it doesn't really give your body a whole lot of time to get rid of all that extra junk that you've been eating. It's still trying to process all the food that you've been shoving in your mouth. And so... The biggest uh, tip I have is, which is rule number, or tip number five, is try not to, of all times, not eat past eight o'clock. Um, if you, if you, between eight and nine, so the longer your body, oh, excuse me, wardrobe malfunction. <laughs> um, if you're, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, yeah, you gotta try and give your body as much time to um, process everything that you've consumed in the day. So the longer you sleep, the more time it has to flush out that fat. Flush the fat. So tip number five, like I said, is do not eat past eight o'clock. I think that's a good one to really try and stick with. Um, it's not as hard as it sounds. Um, but like I said, this is just some guidelines that I've done and learned when I've been going through my journey. Um, tip number four, I had to write them down or I said forget. Uh, tip number four is go for a walk. Do, do your workout. Um, take the dogs for a walk. Go for a bike ride. Um, you know, even if it's just to, to sit outside. Whatever you do to keep yourself busy um, until you get over that craving time or that cur that bad habit time of always having something to eat um, after supper. I was terrible for that. I would eat a bag of chips, licorice, and then you're probably wondering why do I have this in my house? Because of my mother. You learn by examples, right? So anyway, so yeah, so that's uh, what I would eat. Um, so yeah, go for a walk. Um, go for a bike ride, uh, walk around with your dog, take them to the dog park, you know, whatever you want to do. Just keep busy. Um, number three, I have down as um, a tip. You know, even if you want to keep busy, it doesn't mean going outside. Even if it's doing a puzzle or a crossword or play some games with the kids. Um, get them learning that they don't need to have... Um, late night snacks either um, or you could even do some knitting or crocheting or sewing that's what I've been doing this past week um, and I find by the time I get I'm done that I am tired and I'm ready for bed um, which leads to my another tip which is get ready for bed if you've done the other two where you've tidied up your kitchen after supper I usually make my lunch for the next day so that gives me more time in the morning um, clean up the kitchen, get it all ready, and then I um, 
do whatever I have to do, which is busy, um, and wash my face, get my jammies on. And in a way, it kind of, um, a podcast I listened to, the fellow said he finds what it does is it kind of gets your body into that mode of getting ready for bed and getting ready to wind down and not, you know, don't watch something so, um, especially in the middle of like during the week, Friday, Saturdays, those are a little different. If you don't work weekends, you might want to, you know, um, stay up a little bit later, you know, but, um, during the week when you've got work and stuff like that, you know, you got to give your body a break, let it have a routine. Unfortunately, routines are good. Um, not that when we were teenagers, we thought routines were good. We thought that was prison, right? So yeah, I always will get on my jammies, wind down, wash my face. Um, and, uh, yeah, then that would be my biggest one. My biggest treat that I usually do is my cup of tea. Now, not everybody drinks tea. I get that. Um, but try not to drink anything that's, um, caffeinated. So herbal teas, um, whatever your, um, I'm going to say water. I know that's a big one. Everybody complains about water, but you know, if you're bored and you really think you're hungry, that's a big one. Drink some water, drink a glass of water. If you're still hungry after drinking your water, then that's when I would say <clears throat> would be another good tip is to if you have to, if you've done all of the things that you've tried and you're still feeling like you need to eat, then please, please do it healthy. Whether that's a um, half an apple and peanut butter. Um, I'm trying to think of what my favorites are. Yeah, half an apple and peanut butter. My chocolate, um, I know I'm going to say energy balls, but they're really not energy. It's just my Shakeology with some oatmeal, honey, and peanut butter. And I'll usually grab about two or three, and that just gets rid of my chocolate bar craving like crazy. Another thing I do for my snacks, if I have to have a snack, I don't do this all the time, I try not to, is I get natural almonds. And um, I fill up my little container, which usually, it actually, believe it or not, it's very small looking, but it fills up quite a few, believe it or not. And I usually find if I want something crunchy, Oh, see, that's, and I could still fill up more, but I'm not going to. But if I want something crunchy to eat, then, or my nibble on, I'll have one of these. And that would be my snack. So um, that's another good one that I do for uh, snacking. But um, yogurt, you could have a, a small thing of yogurt. I would try and steer away, stay away from fruit. If, I know I said half an apple, but... Um, maybe half a container of purple if um, you want to put some fruit with your yogurt. Um, just a lot of fruit at night. That's another sugar, even though it's natural and everything, which is good. You try to kind of steer, steer away from that if you can, or very little of it, you know. Um, but the biggest one that I find, and I'm sure that some of you are thinking it's kind of crazy, but I think the biggest tip that really helps me from snacking is I pull out after I've done my jammies, wash my face, I pull out the old toothbrush and toothpaste and I brush my teeth and I find there is nothing more gross in the world than after you've gotten yourself all ready, you brush your teeth, you go to sit down and do you really feel like eating chips after that? Mm -mm. Do you feel like having chocolate? Mm -mm. Cookies, mm -mm. if you do, then you're more diehard than I was. But um, I find after I brush my teeth, I'm good to go. Um, and like I said, I'll have my herbal tea and I'm good. So I hope this helped um, give you some tips of how to cut that late night snacking. Um, and uh, yeah, if you guys have any comments or um any kind of questions about uh, any type of other snacking tips that I have, please feel free to comment below on my um, my like page, um, Sherry General Cupcakes to Kale, or my 
personal page, you can do that too. Um, yeah, and I would love to hear your comments um, or any questions. So you have yourselves a good, calm, peaceful night.